what it can do with them and the men who get too short for the game. So I get out there. Oh, yeah. It's okay. We have a strike now. Stand, body drive, got some 20 to inch wheels, um, fast bags, all the suspensions being changed. Um, so it's supposed to be the only S10 body drive on 22s right now. Most of the mini truck in Massey say cannot be done. So we just been a couple of car shows and showing people that anything can be done. Just gotta got the right amount of money and some time on it. Now you said this is airbags in here? What's the difference between airbags and hydraulics? Well, hydraulics, you have to charge the batteries. You have to change the oil on it. Airbags, it's just a lot cleaner. You won't have any problems. They ride a lot better. You know, like new cars coming right now with airbag suspension on it. It's just a new airbag just come out now. So what, what does something like this run you, man, to, to have something like this put together? Man, um, I can say I got about, that's about $15,000, $20,000 on it. Maybe a lot more on our truck. The big buyer right now is about $4,000 on it. So you do this work yourself? Would you on a shop or something that you do this? Uh, we got a place that we're working on right now. We got all those three that have been working on it. You yeah. mean to so say you're like Julio and the man, y'all got a place that y'all work on stuff and hook yes, it up? And yeah, that's yeah. straight there, man. Like I said, we just make a little bit extra money. Tell me about the wheels you got on the rims. What are those? Uh, those are 22-inch wires. Um, I got those because it's pretty much the only wheels that fit on an air stand. They don't come when it's 22 to fit in our stand. The wheels are so big that it's hard to make it fit. And like I said, we cut a lot of stuff on it to make the wheels fit on it. And what class is your uh, truck qualifying in the contest? Well, on the contest right now, it's just on the mini trucking. I used to compete on the construction. See what I can do today. My man, Jose, South Haven, Mississippi. That's a nice vehicle, man. Thank you. Guys, can you give me a little rundown on the history of the uh, car show? All right, tell me about the car show. How you got started? Okay, uh, it originally got started back in about 1979, 80, with one of my uncles. He's deceased now. His name is Larry Thompson. He was the first one in the family to introduce uh, custom to us, and so we just thought we'd take it from there as a, a deceased family member and try to bring it to a different level. How long y'all been uh, having a car show? Well, this is our first one. Actually, this is our first car show that we're throwing, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to throw many more. Y'all gonna have, will just be a yearly event or something like that here in the city of Memphis? Yeah, that's what we're trying to, to have a yearly event and for to give back some to the community. Okay, tell me about the different classifications of cars. I see a lot of different types of cars here. I see like low riders and custom cars, and then tell me, tell me about the different classifications of the cars. Okay, you take this one for instance. This is a 1964 Chevy SS Impala have a, uh, the 2000 uh, navigation systems that, co systems that come in like the uh, Cadillac trucks. We have the 2000 navigation system. We have uh, airbag, supreme rides. Uh, we have a um, all original big block, uh, small block Chevy engine, uh, chromed out. All the work was done strictly through the members of the family, the McFarland and Thompsons. That's where it all started from. And this is a, a hand-built car strictly from the family. And this is what you would call a uh, modified. This is modified, you know, which we uh, came with the uh, newer features on an older car. This is modified. Okay. Where, where do some of the people that take part in this show, where they come from all around the Mid-South, different states or what? Well, m basically, it's like mostly around the city, uh, around the country. But this, like I said, this is our first one. Uh, we got a pretty nice turnout this year and uh, hopefully it'll be a little better. Okay. You're giving out trophies and awards? 
for the cars and different classifications of the cars and stuff. Did we cover that, the classifications? The, okay, tell me about the classifications of the cars. Okay, we have uh, 22 classes uh, that we're giving out. We have uh, 60 trophies, a uh, $500 prize, and some 22-inch set of rims, brand new rim and tires. And the 22 classes we have custom, we have modified, we have original, and uniqueness. You know, it's what uh, everybody's looking for, but it's going to be a, be it's a beautiful show, and everybody here you see with a good, nice-looking ride, and what we would like to do from this show, we would like to get bigger, you know, for we could be uh, known basically uh, uh, throughout the United States. You know, we don't want to yeah. stop here. Yeah, because this is exposure. This is what we're about. We're giving you guys some exposure, you know, to let the people know about, you know, the car show that you get. Because y'all got some beautiful cars here, man, and a lot of beautiful people out here. It's a beautiful day for a car show. And I, I just can't get over how beautiful these cars are, man. Yeah, I got this one, this one was built uh, about, seven, it's been built for about seven years now. Uh, my Uncle Billy Thompson, he's the one that built it. And uh, originally it came with a 327, but as you can see now, it's obese. Obese? Obese. What's that mean? That means it's fat. It's fat. It means it's fat and it's overweight. Fat and overweight, huh? And these cars are built by hand, pretty much, from the ground. Each piece was taken off and painted separately. Each piece on the engine, up under the hood, was there piece by piece, you know. So you're telling me that a lot of these cars, y'all take, say like a old car from a junkyard or somewhere else, sale or something, and y'all go in here and y'all just redo the whole car. Is that what you're telling me? I got pictures right here in the dash where I can show you. Where uh, rusty bucket. it was a rust bucket. A rusty bucket. On the car when it was sandblasted on down. It's right there. It's Polaroid in the windshield. Give me that family name again. Thompson family. Thompson family. McFarlane and Thompson family. Y'all guys do some nice work, man. And this is a beautiful car show. I am Q. This is Discovery. This is called Exposure. Cut you off, but we can't can't leave out my other uncle, Mr. Honey. Uh, most of the people in White Haven know him as Mr. Honey. Smoked turkey legs, and that, that is his '66 Caprice over there. It's the first one that they actually made. The '66 Caprice. You got that, Jerome? But we can't leave Uncle out right there. Right. This is a family thing, man. Is Uncle is he here? Oh, uh, he's the one. Oh, uh, he's gone also, huh? So, so they up there in heaven, they up there in heaven customizing cars in heaven, huh? And send that little right on back down to you guys. This is Exposure, I am Q, and we hanging out here at the Custom Car Show in Whitehaven. And we look to see you guys next year, okay? All right, y'all take care. And like I said, this is Discovery, I am Q, and keep your eyes open, find out where I'm gonna be next week.